Happy Friday! It's your best pal, Chuck E. Cheese, just checking in with you this fine afternoon. It's so good to see you again. I hope that you're happy and doing well, because, well, you're important to me. And I must say, you look fantastic! <laughs> Today I thought it'd be fun to check in with two of my oldest friends and see how they're doing. I've played in a band with them for years. Please welcome to the, uh, screen, <laughs> Miss Helen Henney and Mr. Jasper T. Jowls. You there, guys? Hi, Chucky. I'm here. Me too, boss. It sure is good to see you guys. Good to see you too. Have you been staying busy? Oh, Chuck. I was really enjoying the downtime for a spell. But after a while, it kind of ran its course and I started to miss the old routine. I hear you, Jasper. It can be really difficult when we get thrown off the normal rhythm that we're used to. I think we're all feeling that. So what have you been doing to stay occupied? Well, I played some bass guitar. I groomed my pet pig, Janet. I cleaned my boots, oiled my baseball bats, polished my porcelain figurines, I fixed Pasquale's accordion. I even made a big pot of chili. But I'm still having a hard time finding things to do. <laughs> I'm restless, on edge. I have a severe case of ants in the pants. <laughs> that means I can't sit still, Chuck. Well, wow, sorry to hear that, buddy. Helen, what about you? Are you having the same problem? Well, I've played some video games and I've done a lot of reading and I even got some spring cleaning done. But I'll admit, after a while, it got kind of tough for me to find things to do too. That's when I discovered that there are all kinds of new things to explore just by connecting with friends. I've been taking remote piano lessons with Munch, which I love, and Pasquale and I have been doing a cooking night where we share recipes. Oh, what a great idea, Helen. And of course, Chucky, we have our game night. <laughs> that we do. Wait, you guys are playing video games? Not just video games, Jasper. Helen and I have been connecting here once a week and playing trivia games and word games and brain teasers and all kinds of games. In fact, Helen's got a great guessing game she came up with. Tell them about it, Helen. Oh, it's so much fun. Each person has 30 seconds to get the other to guess something by drawing or humming or making a noise. It changes each round, and if they can guess it, they get a point. Hey, the three of us should play it now. Oh, that's a great idea, Chucky. What do you think, Jasper? So, it's just a guessing game? Yep, you want to try it? I guess. All right. <laughs> Helen, why don't you go first? Okay, first round is drawing round. I'll draw a picture, and you guys have 30 seconds to figure out what it is. I've got 30 seconds on the timer, and go. What is that, a banana? No, Jasper, that's obviously a sailboat. Right, you got it. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> that's a sailboat? It really looks like a submarine. Your turn, Chucky. All right, I've got one. That was a deflated inner tube at best. Ready? And go. Integrity. Got it, Helen. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You've got to go fast on the easy ones, Jasper. Come on. You got integrity? From that? Okay, Jasper, your turn. 30 seconds, and go. Uh, let's see here, um, uh, um, okay, got it. Um. Is it, uh, um, no. Are you holding it upside down, Jasper? What? No. Oh, um, it's a fire hydrant? A porcupine? A soccer ball. An 18-wheeler. Time's up. Sorry, Jasper. <laughs> what was it? It's a tree. Oh. oh. <laughs> I can kind of see that. Good try, Jasper. All right, Helen, round two. Okay, round two is name that song. I'll hum the melody to a song, and you try to figure out what it is. Where do you see a porcupine? Ready, go. Dun, dun, dun. Can't down races. That's it. What? Good selection. Public domain. <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> Your turn, Chucky. And go. Mm. Box keyboard sonata number four in A minor. You guessed it. From one note? How is that even possible? I know, right? Makes it easy that Chucky's such a good singer. Oh, <laughs> your turn, Jasper. I don't believe this. Yep, it's already your turn again. Just pick something easy. We'll get it. And go. 
Is that it? Of course that's it. Everybody knows. Wait, wait, do it again. I have no idea. Nope. That was clearly row, row, row your boat. Really? Hmm. Maybe it was a different version than the one we know. Well, don't give up, Jasper, because we're on the final round! What's that sound? Terrific. I'll make a sound, and you try to guess what it is. Ready? More than ever. Go! Shh. The Pacific Ocean. Specifically. <laughs> of course. Go, Chucky. Arr. A 1956 Jackson and Beam water heater with sediment filled up. <laughs> right you are. It's so obvious. Your turn, Jasper. <sighs> okay, Chuck. I'm going to do a really easy one. If you guys can't get it, then I think maybe this game isn't for me. Okay, Jasper, give it your best shot. And go. Moo. Mm. I've got it. Me too. That was a cow stumbling on some baseball bats and falling into a collection of porcelain figurines that falls on the floor, startling a pig who runs down the hall and gets his feet stuck in cowboy boots and then steps on an accordion which knocks into a bass guitar that falls into the counter knocking, knocking over, over a big pot of chili. chili. Well, you guys pretty much got that one right on the nose. Way to go, Jasper. <laughs> you finally got the hang of it. Thanks for playing with us. Yeah. I'm gonna just go lie down for a second. <laughs> Thank you for playing with us too. Remember to stay connected with your friends and play all you can. Keep things fun until the next time we get to have fun together. Take care of each other and have a chucky day. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Whoa. You are really getting good at this, Jasper. 